Hi, and welcome to a quick tour of our MapedIn CMS. I'll start by signing in from our website, which I've already done here. I'll be going through these steps on a mall venue, but you can use the MapedIn CMS to make similar changes to any indoor space. On the right-hand side, I have my venue map, and on the left-hand side, you can see the many touch points to our wide feature set. I have access to all the properties in my organization through this dropdown. Different permission levels can be set on a per-user basis to make sure I only have access to venues that I should be editing. Let's start at the beginning. A venue is set up through a quick CAD import process. We start with a clean CAD file. You'll recognize this image here. Through our import, we build out all of our required geometry layers on top. Looking at the polygon layer, you can see I have direct control over each store. I can change the style here, I can upload a store logo, and I can even move it around. I can also control the information attached to it. You can see that this is the Apple Store. Some common edits our property managers will need to do are often splitting a store into two or merging two units together. This can be done easily right in our map editor tool. I'll demonstrate this, but first I'll flip over to our draft mode. You can choose to either perform a change in the live mode if it's already reflected at the venue or in draft mode if you'd like to publish it at a later date. So let's do that split and merge here. And merge. Great. And let's do a split. And split. Great! 2D is a great workspace for these tasks, but let's flip over to 3D to see what the final product will look like. In 3D mode, I can easily check on the adjustments that I just made. So I can see the merge I created here, and I can see the split I did here. I can also modify the look of my map in 3D here. By publishing this draft, all of my applications using my map will automatically receive these updates. This is an example of a live customer map, where you'd be able to see all the changes that you just made. Let's open up our Location Manager. We use this tool to update all of our data attached to our map. Things that change weekly, like pop-up stores moving in, stores closing, vending machines changing, they can all be managed here. We can give access at a property level to someone working on the ground daily to manage these updates themselves. As well, data can be synced automatically through our API by connecting to your company's database to manage this. So let's try adding an American Eagle as a new store. I'll say that it's coming soon, starting today, and I want that label to disappear next month. Save. And let's set Banana Republic as temporarily closed. I'll do that starting today, and I'll want that label to drop in a couple months when it reopens. I'll also move Sunglasses Hut into a new vacant unit. And save. You can see there are a ton of different fields that can be used to customize the data you display on your map and save directly to it. Thanks so much for watching, and if you'd like to learn more, feel free to book a demo.